This is a setup to explain the operation of the chroma key on the Panasonic MX70 switcher. Uh, I've got set up several pieces here, obviously the MX70 right in front of us. Uh, over top of the MX70 is a 9 inch uh, monitor. Just on the right side is a laptop with a paint program. I've got a little uh, um, DBX100 camera providing a signal. And over on the right, I'm using a Folsom Image Pro as the uh, scan converter to get an NTSC signal from the laptop into the MX-70. And I'll show you how I'm cabled in here in just a second. Okay, the signal from the Folsom Image Pro is coming into input 1 as video. The camera is coming into input 2 as video. I'm taking program out number one into the monitor. I'm also taking the preview out into the monitor on an input. So I have both preview and program running into the monitor and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, the first order business with the switcher is to understand what inputs it's looking for because it can look for a multiple uh, variety of inputs and if you don't have them correct it's going to mess up everything including the chroma key. So to do that, we'll hit the setup button. And if you use the left soft key, you can work up and down the menu. We're gonna go to audio video input setup. And then we're going to push the cancel key, which is also the return key. And it's gonna ask us okay, we'll say yes and hit it again. Now here's where it actually shows uh, one through eight, you can shift and you can go beyond four inputs to eight inputs, but that's kind of awkward. But anyway, this is the initial setup for the inputs. So now if I change the number one input, I can have video or YPBR or SDI or YC. So I, I'm sending it video, so i got to make sure it's on video. If I put it on YPBR, I still can get an image on the monitor, but that will not tell chroma key what's coming in. It's going to see the video channel as just the luminance channel and, and not give me what I need. So you have to make sure the setup, if you're sending in video, is video. You can also do this on SDI. You just have to make sure everything is set correctly. Once I have all my inputs set correctly, I hit the cancel return key, enter key again and I go back. Now once I have it set the way I want it, I want to get out of the setup button, so I'll hit something else just to make sure I don't accidentally bump the setup button. Okay, now I'm ready to actually begin to set up the chroma key. To start with, I'll hit the actual chroma key button and you'll see the menu will change to the chroma key menu. I also have the camera on input 2 and the laptop coming in through the scan converter on input 1. So I'm going to go to input 1 because now I am going to select the key colors. And to select the key color I can use again a soft button here. I have three choices, key color 2, 1, or 3. But to know what I'm selecting, I have to go to the preview. So I'm going to select the preview on the monitor. Now with preview selected, the preview output of the switcher is selected, I can use the joystick on the left side, upper left side of the switcher to adjust the position of the crosshairs. The crosshairs only show up when I have chroma key selected and I'm on the preview bus. So once I select what color I want to key, and I'm going to use this green at the top to do it, then I will hit the enter key and that number will go in as a number in the chroma key. And just because I don't want to have any confusion, I'm going to enter it as all three key colors. So I have no problem switching between key colors because everything will be that green as key color. 
Okay, so now I have set um, program A to be the camera input and program B is my laptop scan converter input. Also be aware that since we are looking at the preview, preview has to be selected on this area otherwise we won't see our cursor key. So now with the key color selected I can begin to adjust the key information here. Key color is the same for all three so I don't have to adjust that. Slice, slope, and key level I will adjust here and it should be pretty easy. The minute, minute I start increasing the key level you can see there's my hole cutter green is selected. I can adjust using slope and I can adjust using slice. So there's a nice clean chroma key on green and that's how you do it.